Hey, what's going on, guys? Boy Ooch, and we are back again. Once again, how y'all doing today? So, we have a quick one because I feel like crap that I had to scrap a whole video that I already had did. Because of this one, um, the news pretty much is out there at this point. Um, I let some time pass so that way it's like kind of blown over. And by now, if you still don't want to know, then I probably will have to recommend you not listen past a certain point in time of this video but first i'm going to just explain that the original video that i intended on putting out was a predictions video on the nine potential characters that we would see in the upcoming jump force dlc aside from that the video was pretty lengthy i gave a lot of descriptions as to why i wanted certain characters and why i saw them fitting the mold of jump force and i really felt like i had a pretty good list and I'm gonna introduce this list now and then go over what was data mined and pretty much official as far as we're concerned thus far unless Bandai decides to throw us a huge screwball and just wipes that whole list clean, starts from scratch, actually fixes their EXE file and gives us a whole new list to work from. So without further ado, here's my predictions originally from what I thought or who I thought could be featured in the Jump Force DLC. So we do know that there's going to be nine characters. So on this list, I have Rock Lee, Madara, All Might, Bakugo, Grimjowl, Orkiora, Ace, Broly from Dragon Ball Super, and Kaiba from Yu-Gi-Oh. Now my reasoning behind this is basically I wanted to keep it very realistic while acknowledging the heavy hitters as I would call them or the manga from Shonen Jump that have really made a huge difference especially in popularity in sales you know all that kind of good stuff and so i added uh two naruto characters two my hero academia characters two bleach characters one one piece character a dragon ball character and Yu-Gi-Oh. now this was really hard for me to decide on because i really wanted to add a bunch of other characters like you know more characters from black clover i wanted to add some more characters for to the north star those are just my personal picks now i have to put my bias aside and be more realistic and i included ace because for those that know i'm pointing out ace right now is that yes i know ace is from one piece and i can't knock one piece even though i haven't seen it and i do know i am very aware of how popular it is it's still today one of the most best-selling manga Oda has not finished it he plans on doing so maybe in like three years or so but I don't know too much about it so I'm not gonna really comment too much but I have to acknowledge it by saying that yes One Piece does deserve another character for Jump Force now aside from that you know my choice with you know having two Naruto characters to My Hero Academia's two Bleach's and then Kaiba from Yu-Gi-Oh simply for Kaiba it's just like Dude, you're gonna have Yugi in the game, and you're not gonna have Kaiba in the game. Last time we saw Yugi in a Jump-related crossover title that was like on a console, which was Jump Ultimate Stars, he played very, uh, very similar to how he plays now. Except now they're focusing more on just looking at Dark Magician and Dark Magician Girl as his main um, attacking cards, and then he has like Swords of Revealing Light, and um, he draws for you know an attack boost or whatever. And then Slifer comes in as his special super move. And I'm just over sitting over here. I'm like, man, how are you going to have Yugi and not have Kaiba? Okay, so Kaiba is, of course, going to be one of my top picks on here. Madara is pretty obvious. Um, Rock Lee, more or less, because, you know, I see that Gar's in the game. So it would be cool to see rock lee go off against gara or to team with gara because you know there's a rivalry there there's history there much like a lot of the other characters that are in the game there are pairings in jump force you know we have naruto sasuke you got jotaro and dio vegeta and goku you know the list goes on uh, renji and ichigo bakugo obviously like much relating to what i've been already saying as far as pairings go how are you gonna have deku in there and not his rival bakugo would make a lot of sense all might of course being the you know student to both of those characters and it's all mice how are you gonna have a freaking 
jump for his game without all my he is like literally the number one hero he is like the face of justice all that fun shonen stuff put him in the damn game so then of course broly I i'll save that for last now for the reasoning behind grimjaw and ulkiora simply because they're more bleach villains and at the same time they are really popular characters i always thought that they were very cool in design and I got that feeling that they were loved by many of the other fans of Bleach out there. So being someone that hasn't finished the manga, but I watched a lot of the anime growing up as a kid, Bleach was one of the um, starting animes that got me really into the, the fandom of anime as a whole and of shonen as a whole and those are two characters that i really remember you know having not seen it or read it in years and Ulkiora and grim Zhao definitely would fit very well in jump force last but not least having broly from dragon ball super broly is literally something that they would be missing out on entirely as far as trying to take advantage of this hype train that we're still on i would want to say because the official pages are still talking about it the blu-ray movie at the time of this recording still hasn't been released yet but pre-orders are available now and everyone is still really like loving how this movie turned out it's getting a lot of praise broly's been in all these other freaking video games dragon ball related so who am i to say why not throw him in there to make some extra cash as far as this dlc is concerned so that's my list i wanted to keep that nice and concise as far as my explanations go now here's what's official so from this point forward i will say please follow like share subscribe all that good stuff because for a lot of you that might not want to know this list i'm gonna you know tell you guys what i say at the end of the video make sure you do all that kind of good stuff support the channel support your boy and the dream and hopefully i'll see you guys in the next one but for those that want to stick around and hear me out on what we're reporting on this is the data mine list for who's actually going to be featured in the jump force dlc so now here we have the official list and now i call this official but i really shouldn't call it official because like i said you know bandai could you know they haven't acknowledged it yet but at the same time they haven't made any comments on it you know they're staying hush about it um things that are data mine normally aren't really acknowledged like this but this is the official list. So we're referencing Mizumi, okay? If you don't know who Mizumi is, Mizumi is a modder. Mizumi mods games, you know, when I say mod, like modification for those that don't know, this is pretty much like someone that adds alternate skins or characters that might not even be in the game, like Shaggy. It was reported right before the game even came out that this game was like an open sandbox that as long as you had the program Unreal Engine, which is the game was made off of, you could literally just take the game that included the actual freaking save file. Like imagine just having the whole file, like the file of a game, right? And all you have to do is just have the program, bam, open it up. You literally can just manipulate it in whatever way you want. So, knowing, you know, where to where to look for things, Mizumi found the actual DLC list for Jump Force. So, again, this isn't official, but this is what was that in mind. So, the characters for the DLC in Jump Force are Kaiba, Hitsugaya, Grimjow, Biscuit, All Might, Bakugo, Boo, Madara, and Law. So, if you want to check out the graphic that I am putting up for you guys right now, I was like more than 50-50 on this. I was, I had, let's see, I had five of the nine characters on that list correct, just off of me taking educated guesses and being as realistic as possible, and we got the a list right here, and I'm actually really happy that we're getting Hitsugaya instead of Okiara and we're still getting Grim Jow, so I'm happy about Grim Jow. Kaiba being the first one on this list. Dude, like I said, how they not gonna have Kaiba in the game? It is so awesome. I cannot wait to see how he plays. I really hoping to see a lot of blue eyes white dragon and most likely we're gonna see Obelisk of Tormentor as his super special move. Now Biscuit, as far as Biscuit is concerned, um I'm not sure exactly who this who this character is or where they come from. All Might and Bakugo spot on right there. Boo 
All right, I was not expecting Boo, but it does make sense. They already put Frieza and Cell in there, so sure. Have the trifecta, have all the three big bads of Dragon Ball Z included. I'm sorry, bro, you're going to have to take a seat on this one. You've been in every freaking other <laughs> Dragon Ball game that they've been putting out there. Madara, yes, I was spot on with that. No Rock Lee, uh, but Law. So when I saw this, I was like, wait, Law? Wait, is this a One Piece character, or is like, is this Martial Law from Tekken? Like, nah, don't play me like this. It's a Shonen Jump game. This is not no kind of uh, game where they're going to have guest characters, which would be kind of cool, but, you know, I would expect them to, if they were to have guest characters, they would be including them from other, uh, maybe other Jump titles, like One Punch Man, or other mangas from outside Shonen Jump, maybe like Full Metal Alchemist, or even Guts from Berserk. So this is the data mine list. Kaiba, Hitsugaya, Grimjow, Biscuit, All Might, Bakugo, Boo, Madara, and Law. So to be honest, from excluding Biscuit and Law, because again, I'm not really familiar with who they are, this is actually a really good DLC. So this is definitely something that I would spend 30 bucks on, um, even though I have my gripes with the game, and I'm, I'm hoping to get my um, full impromptu review after I played it twice out because I know that this one's gonna be out first just for the sake of getting stuff out there um, and but yeah Hitsugaya was another one of my favorites from Bleach that I personally had to hold back on and I was like you know I don't really think they're gonna put him in there but you know it would be really cool if they did similar to Trunks I didn't think they were gonna put Trunks in the game and look they threw Trunks in the game so to me Hitsugaya was the Trunks of Bleach so I'm super excited that Hitsugaya is gonna be playable just as well as with Madara, Bakugo, All Might, and even Boo. And I'm assuming it's going to be Kid Boo, but it might be Fat Boo. So that's not specified, really. And as an added bonus, you can actually see how excited I am. Um, if you look right over here, I'm actually responding to him. And, and, and he responded back that, I, like, how did I find it? He's in the EXE file. In the freaking EXE file of the damn game itself. Like, it's, that's really funny how life can be easy sometimes. But... That's, I don't know if that's a really a mistake on Bandai's part or on, you know, whoever, because, I mean, hey, that's a pretty big slip up, but I mean, it is what it is. They don't really seem too phased by it, and it seems, and it's pretty cool to see a lot of these modders make a lot of um, cool modifications to the game, which are available pretty much only on the PC. I'm not really sure if there's a way to get those features onto the PS4 version, which is what I'm playing it on, or the Xbox One version. So that all being said, guys, I hope this list uh, suits your fancy. If you ask me personally, I definitely would have loved to see Broly, of course, but I would have loved to see a character like Rao, like, you know, he had Kenshiro and, you know, have Rao, but again, like, Fist of North Star is a lot older than a lot of these other games, just like City Hunter. Those two are probably, and Saint Seiya, I should say, are three of the oldest series that have some kind of representation in Jump Force. But then again, you know, Dragon Ball is in Jump Force, but, you know, it's Dragon Ball Z, so whatever. But I digress. Let me know what you guys thought about this list. Who would you like to see in this if you didn't? get any of the characters that you see in front of you let me know what you think in the comments below like share subscribe hit me up on twitter all the good stuff all of the uh social media accounts are going to be in that description so again i really appreciate it if you follow me everywhere else it sports me it sports the channel and you know, it sports the dream have a good one take care of yourselves may the power protect you and i'll see y'all next time you